Chris Patrick with the Path Magazine. We're at the Radio One One Love Gospel Cruise. Got a very special guest with me here today. This is Byron Cage. How you doing? I'm good, my brother. How's it going? Oh man, I can't complain at all. You enjoying yourself on the cruise? Yeah, you know this is my third uh, Radio One cruise, and we always mm -hmm. have a great time. You know, Miss Hughes is gonna do it big style, and um, yes. and and all the artists, of course, that come through. It's a tremendous time every time we sail the seas, eat a lot of food, shout a lot, giving God glory. So it's a great time. Hey, man, I heard you perform last night. You did a great job. I appreciate it. It was just unfair, though. I told him to put me after Donnie McClurkin. But, uh, you know, we did what we do in Jesus' name. Hey, so. the last two nights you stood up and you did it well, my friend. Definitely. If I, I, it, <laughs> I can't brother. say so myself. And, 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 you know, of course, the people who come to the concerts mm -hmm. come with great expectancy. And right. so we're just grateful to be able to touch the lives of those persons you know, a one on one that we normally would not get a chance to see. Hey man, you yeah. guys did a great job considering the ship was rocking back and forth. Oh, and we're rocking now. <laughs> they just your camera just can't tell. Yeah, I know. But we are, we are swimming. We're doing like this. I was like, please don't let the band members throw up. I mean, oh, I, and two of my group members got sick. They really got sick right wow. after the concert. So yeah. Well, I was out there yeah. in the hallway outside the Palladium, and uh, that's where everybody was performing, and mm -hmm. uh, four people in 15 minutes had regurgitated on the floor. I know. And it wasn't too cool. <laughs> Not cool at all. And, you know, I, I've got a resilient system, thank God, and uh, it hasn't really bothered me. It just made me look like I'm drunk the way I'm walking down the thing, but yeah. it's not that at all as the boat is rocking. And so. you've been on these cruises before, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've done quite a few of these cruises. Right, it's so always a great time to sing and, and also get a couple of days to just relax. So, you know, when you get off the boat, you're, you've got that walking zombie feeling. Like you do. <laughs> it's, it's like the world feels like it weighs and a ton you right, know what i'm saying right yeah right. But now, i'm ready to get off the boat let, let it go on the record i'm ready to get off the ship i'm ready <laughs> now let's talk about a little bit about uh the old byron cage you know you've got coined the name prince of praise and what is that your style of worship is that you you love praising and worship you know praise and worship is such a passion of mine and i've kind of like just kind of dropped the whole prince of praise thing because i don't want anybody to ever think that i'm trying to raise myself to a title or anything like that okay. because God ultimately deserves all the glory and all of the praise but yeah I'm just passionate about praise and worship and I have been for decades you okay. know and it came from uh, working and singing background for the late minister Thomas Whitfield mm -hmm. and then I learned praise and worship through the studies that I've done on it so amen yeah. amen so what's some of your future plans uh, well futuristic um, you know we're still recording a brand new CD that I do um, on March 13th. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure when this is going to air, but mm -hmm. uh, it's live in Detroit. I'm looking forward to that. That's my uh, sixth uh, CD that I've done in okay. the industry. So okay. looking forward to doing that, some television, some movies. And I tell the Lord, whatever he wants to take the ministry, um, I want to go there. Amen. Now, hit after hit, how do you keep your ministry fresh and, you know, and keep giving the the, you know, God's people, uh, you know, a word from the Lord. How do you keep it fresh and, you know, new material? Well, you know, I, I think that the time that I spend personally with the Lord in my time of prayer and devotion, mm -hmm. um, that's where the worship comes from. But then at the same time, I always try to remain relevant with the day or with what's happening and keeping it real for the church, especially the African-American church, you know. Right. We like to clap. We like to rock. We like to have a good time. So mm -hmm. I like to try to stay on top of what mm -hmm. uh, we're listening to. And, uh uh, not uh, become stale or become old or become mm -hmm. predictable. I like to keep it fresh. Amen. Now, you had a powerful word yesterday. You were talking about the healing power of God, and it just seemed to be like, a, a especially the last couple of nights when you get to that part of your, your, your stage performance, that it's just something just shifts right there because everybody can relate to that, and uh, I know I myself can. You know, he's a healer, Jehovah Rapha, for me, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, as far as what he's brought me through. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, how does, how does that, what are some of the responses you're getting from people from that song? And, you know, I get testimony after testimony from people who uh, have been touched and who have been blessed by that song. Mm -hmm. Some people who say that, you know, a lady came on the, on the cruise ship. She said that uh, she came down and I prayed for her after I sang that song last year. Mm -hmm. And she said she received the healing power of God and the sickness never came upon her again. And I told her, it's not that I touched you. It's that the faith that you had to know that Jesus Christ and his word is true, that by his stripes you can receive your healing. Mm -hmm. She received her healing. Another uh, lady came and told me about her mother who lost her battle with cancer. And she said she wanted to hear Broken But I'm Healed. She said that's what she was listening to when she passed on and went on to glory. So. Um, I don't take for granted the anointing or the, uh, the the music that God places in me to be able to go forth and minister to God's people. I don't take it for granted at Amen. all. Amen. It's important that you know that by your faith that you can become whole, and I think that's what that's what makes you whole is your faith. You Absolutely. Well, and when you believe and trust God for everything, He will provide everything for you. Byron Cage at the Radio One One Love Gospel Cruise. Byron, tell us where we can hear some of your new, you know, new music and and um, and, and and you know what's going to be next for you. 
um, at, again, as I'm getting ready to uh, uh, record my next CD, mm-hmm. it's called In the Midst. Uh, it's live in Detroit. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the um, new thing that's coming up. My latest CD is called Byron Cage, The Proclamation, live at the Apollo Theater in New York, okay. uh, which I was the first gospel artist to do a gospel album there. I heard that. Yeah, so um, <laughs> it was a tremendous blessing. So that's my current CD. But uh, just look for me to continue to, to give forth in this uh, great praise and worship music that I love and I know that God's people love. Amen. So. Websites, MySpace? Uh, Facebook.com uh, is just Byron Cage, or you can go to MySpace, uh, Byron Cage, the official Byron Cage. Mine is the one with the Apollo picture, because I know there are about 10 or 15 Byron Cages, but those aren't the real ones. The real ones have yeah. the album cover and the music that's downloaded on there already. Right, so. right. Well, Byron right. Cage, we appreciate your time. It's always Thank a you, pleasure to walk on the path with you a little bit. God bless you. Thank you, my brother. Guys. And you all be blessed. Stay on the path.